Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our very last section of Chapter 2, Section 2.8, Graphing Linear and Absolute Value Inequalities. Now, when we have graphed linear and absolute value equations before, but now we're asked to graph linear and absolute inequalities. And there's two slight differences, and we'll go over those differences after graph them. So, number one, we are asked to graph this linear inequality. Well, remember, we want to get it into something that looks like y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. We want to get y by itself. So what do we have to do? We have to add x over to the other side. So we come up with 2y is greater than a positive x plus 4. Now how do we get y by itself? We want to divide everything by 2. So we're dividing this guy by 2 and this guy by 2. So then we have y is greater than 1 half x plus 2. My slope is 1 half. My intercept now, my y-intercept is 2. So let's go ahead and graph this line. So we go up 2 and now my slope is up 1 over 2. I rise up 1, I go over 2. Or from the y-intercept again, you could go down 1 over to the left to as long as we have a positive slope, as long as we're going up from left to right. Now, the first key difference here is that we have an inequality. When we have a greater than or just a less than inequality, that is going to change our line. We have a line now that is dotted as we connect my points with a dotted line. So that is the first difference. When you have a less than or greater than, you have a dotted line. Again, less than or greater than, you have a dotted line. Now my second key difference is that we have to shade. When you shade, I'm going to plug it in just for the normal or the inequality that we started with as I make an ugly square or rectangle. Now, I like to pick point zero, 0.00. You can pick any point, but I like to pick point zero, 0.00 because we're going to shade this line. So now I'm going to plug 0. This is point zero, 0.00. zero. A 0 for my x and a 0 for my y. So I'm going to plug that in right here. So now I have negative 0 plus 2 times 0 is greater than 4. So we have 0 is greater than 4. Now you have to ask yourself, is 0 greater than 4? No, it is not. So that makes this side false. When we have inequalities, when we have that guy, we want to shade. We always want to shade the true side. So if this side all the way down here is false, this side must be true, yes? So we want to shade the true side. So now when we shade, we shade everything over or above that line because it's the true side. So now if we would pick any point over here, so if I would pick this point, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, if I would pick point 1, 4, since it's shaded, it should make this inequality true. So let's try it real quick as I grab a different color. So it's negative 1 plus 2 times 4 is greater than 4. So it's negative 1 plus 8 is greater than 4. We have 7 is greater than 4. So I must have shaded the right side because I picked a point that I already shaded, 1, 4, and it worked. All right, so that is how we graph a linear inequality. Now, how do we graph a absolute value inequality. Well, we still graph it the same exact way that we would graph a absolute value. All right, so start off the same. Remember, we want to start with that x being 0. So that's going to go in the middle of the table. Then you go up 2, 1, 2, and then down 2 from that point you picked. And so now we're plugging everything in. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 minus 2 is zero. Then we have the absolute value of negative one, which turns into one minus two is negative one. And then you plug in zero, it is negative two. We plug in one, it's negative one. We plug in two, it's zero. So let's go ahead and plot these points for our graph. Now it's negative two at zero, 
negative 1, down 1, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 0. So now we have a V look to our graph, a V shape to our graph since it's an absolute value. We know we graphed our points right. Now we have to take a peek at our inequality since it's a greater than. Well, what kind of line does that give us? That gives us a dotted line. We have a, ourselves a V graph. Now, the last thing that we have to do, though, is to pick point zero, zero. This is point zero, zero, and plug it in for X and Y to figure out what side we have to sh shade on. So I'm putting it in for this inequality. So now zero was my Y is greater than the absolute value of zero minus two. So is zero greater than negative two? true yes zero is greater than negative true two <laughs> negative two so I have to shade where it's true well where's my point my point was inside my V so I'm going to shade everything that's inside of my absolute value so I'm shading all of this is true so if I would pick zero five zero ten that would be shaded that would be a solution to my inequality or if you picked 0, negative 3 going down here. Since it's not shaded, it would not work for this inequality. This is true. I shade where it's true. I leave blank where it's false. Let's try one more. Now we have 0 is less than or equal to 3 times the absolute value x plus 1. Now please remember that we want to get this x plus 1 to be 0. And how do we do that? Well, you just set it equal to 0 x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals a negative 1. So now I put that value, that negative 1 smack dab in the middle of my table, go 2 down, negative 2, negative 3, then go 2 up, 0, and 1. Now, now go ahead and plug negative 3 in for your x. So we have... 3 times negative 3 plus 1. Remember, we add this up first, so it's negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2 times 3 is 6. Same thing. Keep going. We have 3 times the absolute value of negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1 times 3 is 3. As we keep rocking, I'll write it down one more time. We have negative 1 plus 1 yeah, negative 1 plus 1 is 0 times 3 is 0. Then you can keep working with 0. You can plug it in. Or if you want, you can trust me that we have 3 and then 6 again. Now we have our table made. So let's go ahead and put our points on our graph. So we go over negative 3 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have negative 2 up 3. Put a point. Now we have negative 1, 0. Then we have 0, 3, and we have 1, 6. Now again, looking at your inequality, we have a equal to sign now, a less than or equal to. So with that, now it has a solid line for your graph. And again, notice that we make a V with their absolute value. So now we graphed it. The very last thing we have to do is to pick point 0, 0 and see if it's true or false. So I'm plugging coordinate point zero, zero in for the inequality. So I have zero is less than or equal to three times zero plus one. Keep going with it. We have zero is less than or equal to three times one. We have zero is less than or equal to three. Now is zero less than or equal to three? Yes, it is true because 0 is less than 3. So where would we shade? Now we want to shade outside of it because this point is outside of my graph. So I'm going to shade everything outside. Right? Again, any point that is shaded around the V, right? any point that is shaded around the V will be a part of the solution for this inequality. This in here that's left blank is not a solution. This would be false inside here, so it would not work for this inequality. And that does it for section 2.8, graphing linear and absolute value inequalities. Good day.